early community builders in Abilene began responding to the needs and blazing a trail to improve the lives of their neighbors as early as 1945 with the formation of the Community Chest of Abilene. Among a flurry of community activity, including the creation of the Junior League and the Abilene Philharmonic, the year 1956 saw the formalization of a new organization created to meet needs of the citizenry. On June 13, 1956, the Community Chest dissolved and became a new organization, officially established as the United Fund of Abilene. The United Fund held its first charter meetings in the Farmers and Merchants Bank, now First Financial Bank. In 1976, the United Fund of Abilene changed its name to United Way of Abilene. However, the spirit and mission of improving lives and mobilizing the caring power of our region has never wavered. We celebrate those visionary leaders who moved the organization forward so many years ago. Much has happened across these decades, and we have adjusted course and adapted to the needs of our neighbors. Abilene's first United Fund campaign took place in 1956. Today, we celebrate those visionaries who began our work and paved the way for our first 50 years of improving lives in Abilene. Abilene has been well served by corporate leaders who have led campaigns and brought together the community. Leaders like Walter Johnson, Nib Shaw, Morgan Jones, and others who led the charge in 1956. Together, the inaugural board and campaign cabinet met and under a campaign slogan of Enough for All, exceeded their first United Fund campaign goal by 3.8%. 15 agencies received investments that year, many of which are still community partners today. The Day Nursery of Abilene and the United Way have partnered together uh, for more than 40 years as the Day Nursery of Abilene, but even prior to the Day Nursery of Abilene's inception in 1972, the United Way and the Negro Day Nursery, which was our predecessor, partnered together in order to try and meet a big need in the community for uh, child care, especially for low-income working mothers. The partnership that Day Nursery of Abilene has with the United Way of Abilene is really critical for not just the children in our centers, but for uh, the parents the, and the families that receive the services at Day Nursery of Abilene. It's critical for the businesses that are in Abilene and also for our community as a whole. United Fund leaders continued the charge into the latter 1950s with the addition of a women's division drive and the first loaned executives. The women's division established a phone bank to make calls to donors about the upcoming campaign, and loaned executives took the United Fund message to workplaces in the community, a job they still do today. About Eight, nine years ago, uh, I was tapped as a loaned executive uh, to represent Hendrick Health System. Um, knew a little bit about United Way through our employee campaigns, but really didn't have a great working knowledge of United Way of Abilene until I showed up for the loan executive trainings. Uh, that was such a great experience. A, I got to learn about the agencies. Uh, I got to learn how United Way supports those agencies. And then I got to go out and share that message with companies outside of Hendrick uh, as well as coming back home to the hospital and running our campaign there. Uh, so I would say the loaned executive process um, was my first touch point uh, with United Way of Abilene and could not have had a better experience with that. By the mid-1960s, the number of United Fund agencies had grown to 23, and the idea of fair share giving was just taking off. A fair share giver donates one hour of pay per month. In 1966, A.B. Stormy Shelton, United Fund Chairman, and Mac Eplin, United Fund Campaign Chairman, urged the community to continue and increase support to make Abilene a fair share community. In addition to Stormy Shelton and Walter Johnson, significant community leaders and United Way leaders in the 1960s were Harwell Barber and Harold Crawford. By this stage in its development, the United Fund of Abilene had established itself as a highly successful organization and continued to help children in need, struggling families, the elderly, and disabled. Almost $360,000 was allocated to partner with agencies on an annual basis by the late 1960s. 
The 1970s saw a series of successful campaigns with annual reports citing 13th consecutive victory, but the decade also brought some change to the organization. In our 15th community campaign, Harold Crawford chaired the campaign under a slogan of, if you don't do it, it won't get done, and raised a record amount of $419,000. In this decade, the United Fund reached out to help more nonprofits in the community and continued to surpass fundraising goals. In 1976, following a nationwide rebranding, the organization officially became known as United Way of Abilene. Community philanthropists leading the organization in the 1970s were Kenneth Murphy, Sid Niblo, Dick Spaulding, Dr. Dick Orsini, and Ray Howe. In 1978, United Way leaders, including Fred Lee Hughes, Ray Howe, and H.C. Zachary, set out for the largest goal in UW history, $648,000 to support 18 agencies. In 1978, board chairman H.C. Zachary had a most memorable slogan, thanks to you, it works for all of us. We think H.C. picked the right business to make his mark. The 1980s were a boom in Abilene, which brought the first ever $1 million campaign in 1982. Community leaders, including Bob Springer, Bob Milstead, Dr. Jess Fletcher, and Fred Lee Hughes continued to exceed campaign goals. Campaign slogans were, love thy neighbor, enough to help, and giving, it brings out the best in all of us. Longtime United Way Executive Director Jack Grable retired from his post in the late 80s to be succeeded by Glenn Cochran. Glenn Cochran made at least one very good hire when he chose Dixie Bassett to join the United Way staff. Also in 1989, the City of Abilene partnered with United Way of Abilene to create the first Helplines Resource Directory. The Helplines Directory gave people easy access to a database of resources in our community. As the organization grew in the 1980s, campaign leadership implemented a key giver society, which would become today's leadership giving society. During the 1980s, 90s, and beyond, the United Way of Abilene thrived under the leadership of Richard Bacon, Glenn Churchill, Billy Proctor Shaw, Fred Lee Hughes, Bob Tiffany, and Dr. Thomas Kim. Scott Deeser took charge as the 1990 campaign chairman and 20 volunteers joined his cabinet. Their leadership guided a total of 800 volunteers in securing support from donors. Campaign volunteers began their work in the 90s by sharing the UW message year-round. Leaders of the organization in the 1990s included Deeser, Mike Waters, Dr. Royce Money, Mike Schweikert, Paul Cannon, Iris Nash, Wayne Roy, Lanny Hall, and John Beckham. I was thrown into being campaign chairman because the president uh, of our bank died of a heart attack, Mike Brooks, and so they wanted me to take Mike's position. And I said, you know, just give me a year. Well, the year came and I still really didn't want to be campaign chairman. And it was an incident at the day nursery that happened that was God's way of uh, giving me the spark that, uh, and telling me how important United Way was to the community because I was visiting with a child that had been abused and realized the importance of here, uh, the day nursery was uh, really taking a situation and uh, uh, changing this little girl's life. And so uh, I took that, uh, that was the impetus of uh, uh, starting the campaign and and never stopped from that point on. We went and got the best campaign cabinet uh, that we could. It was a who's who of Abilene. Uh, we went out and got volunteers in probably one of the largest uh, campaign volunteer groups that ha ever has been. Uh, we uh, exceeded the goal by 102% and, and uh, finished it by raising $1,530,000 and uh, it was just the campaign team that couldn't have done a more fantastic job. Also in 1990, the Board of Directors awarded the first Volunteer Service Award. The purpose of the award was, and still is, to honor an outstanding volunteer for a lifetime of community service. Volunteer Service Award winners who have left us are Bob Tiffany, Harold Crawford, Dale Akers, Walter Johnson, Stormy Shelton, Moselle Scarborough, and Harwell Barber. 
Previous winners who continue to support United Way and its mission of helping Abilene and the big country are Jess Fletcher, Fred Lee Hughes, Scott Deeser, Royce Money, Billy Proctor Shaw, Diane Stye, H.C. Zachary, Mike Schweikert, Dale Carty, John Beckham, Bob Hunter, Phil Christopher, Joe Crawford, and Leroy Bolt. Many exciting events arrived in the 1990s, including the addition of the community's first Day of Caring in 1995, a golf tournament fundraiser, and many engaging report luncheons. During the first day of caring, more than 4,400 volunteer service hours were contributed, over 40 businesses allowed employees to participate, and 70 separate projects were completed in our community. United Way entered into the new millennium with a vision to continue to build a caring community. In 2002 and 2003, United Way and the Community Network Committee began preparations to establish a 211 call center in our region. Through the efforts of the City of Abilene's Call for Help program and United Way, 211 Texas, a call for help, opened as the one-stop shop for community agencies working collaboratively to deliver services to families and children. Growing partnerships were formed through the addition of the Basic Needs Network to help agencies improve collaboration and efficiencies when serving clients. The work of 211 continues to respond to the unique needs of today. The reach of United Way continued to grow as the organization founded new giving societies and worked to reach a broader audience with new events, including a flash mob and partnerships with local universities. Longtime United Way leader Dixie Bassett retired in 2013 and community champion Dr. Kathy Ashby took the helm. United Way made a significant stride toward the future with the creation of the United Way Foundation of Abilene in 2014, which when fully funded will allow all campaign contributions to go directly to programs. United Way Foundation charter members are Scott Deeser, chairman, and officers Jeff Haney, Hillary Moore, and Carolyn Beckham. Other foundation board members are Leroy Bolt, Dr. Phil Christopher, Joe Crawford, and Dr. Sarah Trammell. The United Way of Abilene Young Leaders Society was founded in 2014 to connect a new generation of givers with volunteer and development opportunities. I see young leaders uh, being a conduit uh, to people entering the United Way lexicon and then really being able to grow uh, in that environment the way I have. So I really think giving, volunteering, and advocating are our three-pronged approach uh, to getting young people involved and tapped into the United Way of Abilene. In 2015, hometown hero Jim Barr of Barr Roofing partnered with the organization to bring the Key City Rhythm and Blues Festival to life in Abilene. In just two years, the United Way was able to raise an additional $76,000 to support our community partner agencies. Over the past 60 years, United Way has invested $51,600,000 in our community, but our work is not done. Today, we celebrate our partnerships. We celebrate organizations that help us help our community by holding workplace campaigns and making corporate gifts. We celebrate the volunteers that give their time for the betterment of our community. We celebrate the people and the collaboration that makes it all happen. We hope you'll celebrate along with us as we work together to make our community better. We've learned over the past 60 years that when we come together to live united, we can make Abilene and West Central Texas better for all of us. It's just an incredible legacy that we have uh, as an organization and as a community that there's so many people that give back when they really don't have to give back. They just have uh, hearts of service and philanthropy. And so I'm truly, truly grateful um, for all the volunteers and all the leaders in our community that have chosen United Way as a vehicle uh, to get back to the community. Congratulations on 60 years, United Way Abilene. On behalf of the Day Nursery of Abilene, we want to express congratulations to the United Way of Abilene on 60 great years and even more to come. From 1956 to 2016, happy anniversary, United Way Abilene.